Welcome to The Dreaming Sun. In this video, you're gonna learn the three ways we deal with the information we receive from the outside world according to NLP, and that is deleting, distorting, and generalizing it. So now let's take a look at how we get the world from out there to in here. Now scientists will say that we are receiving over two million bits of information into our nervous system every second. And these are coming through our five senses, which is our sight, our smell, our taste, our hearing, and our bodily sensations, feelings. So what happens is this information is passed through our nervous system and then it goes through a filtering process. Because if we were aware of all these two million bits of information every second, then we'd be distracted and we wouldn't be able to get anything done and would go crazy because it's just too much going on. Therefore, it goes through a filtering process and the information that we are left with is what's gonna serve us in the moment for any activity that we've chosen to focus on. And all the rest of the information is passed into our unconscious mind. Now, this filtering process, what it's made up of is things like our memory, our language, our past decisions, our beliefs and attitudes, and our values. So once it's gone through that filtering process, we represent it to ourselves. That is, we take all these um, electrical impulses that are coming through our nervous system and then we create it in our world. And interestingly, every module like our sight and our taste go through different avenues and then it recreates it in our mind. So therefore, what we have to first of all be aware of is the world that we're actually seeing um, is seen after it's gone through this filtering process. So we've got to remember that the world we see isn't necessarily how it is because we are deleting, distorting, and generalizing it. So first of all, let's have a look at the process of deletion. Right now, as you're watching this video, there's so many things going on in your environment that you won't even be aware of because your conscious mind is trying to focus on what I'm saying so you can learn the concepts. And to do that, it has to shut out a lot of the external environment. So right now, start listening for sounds in your environment, maybe in the next room. Start feeling the temperature in the air. Start feeling where your hands are and the bodily sensations. Now you're aware of all these things because your conscious awareness has said this is important and therefore it is opening up these filters for allowing it to come through. So as you can see, there's so much going on at the moment that you are deleting from your experience. However, this becomes a problem when we start deleting um, the things that are gonna empower our lives. We might delete um, our memories from the past that shows us we can do something in a situation and we start saying, no, I can't do that because we're deleting times when we did. Now let's take a look at distortions. Obviously, we've all had times in our life when we've had something occur uh, and then we actually distorted it and made it mean something else. This happens all the time and it's important to remember in these situations that what we're actually believing isn't necessarily true. Um, for example, you might wake up in the middle of the night and you hear the house creaking and you think because it's dark and you've just woken up and you're not aware of what's going on, it's an intruder. And then your heart rate quickens, adrenaline is released, so you're reacting to that thought as if it was true. But as you lie there and you become more to your senses, you realize it's just the house creaking and groaning as it always does every night as it cools down. Another example might be when, is when you're dealing with other people, that they might do something intending one thing and then you've distorted it to mean another thing through your own perceptions. I'm sure you've had examples of this like we all have. And then there's generalizations. As the brain, what it's trying to do is it's always trying to work most efficiently to get you from A to B. There's so many things to do in the everyday world and if we had to relearn everything in every situation, then we'd never be able to get anything done. Therefore, the mind does us the favor of generalizing so many of the things that we have learned to other situations. So for example, let's take a cup. You know that a cup is for drinking out of and it can come in so many different forms that you can see it now and even though everyone isn't exactly the same, you can generalize across the different shapes to know what they're actually for. Therefore, quickening up the process of your life. If you had to relearn uh, every different type of cup in every different situation, then it would slow life down and that's just learning a cup. Also, it helps with uh, you being able to learn because if you see other people take an action in the world and they get a certain result, such as a negative result, then you know not to do that activity in a similar situation. 
Alternatively, if they do something and they get a positive reinforcement for it, then you know that's something that you want to adopt if you want to get the same result. However, what happens uh, with generalizations and when it can become a negative is when we believe the future is always going to be the same as the past. That is, we don't start looking for new ways of doing things because uh, we generalize it to the future and therefore we're going to get stuck in getting the same results because we're not realizing that we can always do something differently and this takes effort because we actually have to consciously think about it as opposed to being able to work on autopilot as the mind normally does. So to help with you to become aware of these three ways that you're um, processing the information that you're receiving and then recreating it in your world, I've created my Mastery Meditation video course. This is a 10 part video course that you can get access to, along with getting a bonus on my Busting and Building Beliefs ebook. Remember that the world that we're seeing is our representation of it. That is, we're taking all bits of information and we're recreating it in our mind. And that's the actual world that we're relating to. Therefore, if you want to change that world that you're creating, you have to change the filtering processes. And beliefs is one of the biggest parts of the filtering process that recreates our world. And in this Busting and Building Beliefs ebook, you will learn how to find the disempowering beliefs that are holding you back, and then also how to implant new empowering beliefs so that you can start recreating the world from your outside perceptions in a way that is going to serve you, take the actions that you need to take to take your life where you want it to go. Also, if you need any further explanation of anything that I've covered in this video, feel free to leave a comment. Also, make sure you subscribe to this channel if you want to keep up to date with all my latest videos about life improvement techniques.